Hey, welcome back. I am from Exploring Excel. Myself, Amir Dabolkar. You can email me at exploringofficeexcel at gmail dot com. This is Excel basic syntax. Very important to know. Let's move on to our sheet. Okay. Now today's reason to take this type of thing is very very important. Some of knowing very complex function like some of everybody knows the complex function like V lookup, H lookup, index match, concatenate, and so on. But they don't know the basics of the syntax. Why the syntax are very important. When you move on to a VBA, the many many syntax to be learned. That's why this is a basic syntax. Those who those who are working in Excel for first time, you can just watch this video. For the syntax, and why the syntax are very important, and uh, uh, people often get confused with the syntax and screen tip. Let's see in this video. Okay, now this is the first video of Excel basic syntax. Syntax. What do you mean by the syntax? Syntax of a uh, syntax of an Excel function refers to the layout and order of the function as and its. Okay, so equals to if you write and function, open, you get here this this two to three syntaxes like logical test one, then logical test three, then three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. But you should remember that only the logical test one is a compulsory argument. Rest all are optional arguments. There are unlimited arguments here. See, you can just add. And as much as logical test you want, same for the uh, or function. But see, what is an argument basically? An argument is a field required for a function to work. For example, if function requires logical test for per function uh, a logical test value if true and value if false function to work. For example, equals to you can just write a sum function. Sum of these three numbers tab is zero. So what is the in between the open parenthesis and close parenthesis is the argument. Okay. Next are the two types of arguments. One is compulsory argument. One is optional argument. Simple logic to you. Uh, remember these are arguments which are not inside the brackets. The arguments which are not inside the brackets are. Uh, compulsory arguments mean an optional argument which are inside the bracket. You can see here uh, if logical test value if true and value if false. Logical test is a compulsory argument, but uh, a value if true and value if false is an optional argument. Now, arguments which are written does not have spaces but have underscore. This is a very important concept in the. In macro VBA code, when you just write record a macro, you just write here. Suppose uh, my first macro. Then it, it uh, then it says the name that you have entered is not valid. See the name does not begin with a letter of an underscore. The name contains a space or Other invalid character. That's why it is a very important. The Excel does not recognize the spaces uh, means while coding. That's why you have to use this underscores instead of that. So this is a very important observation as when you will write the UDF, user defined functions or a macro code with no spaces between the names. For example, uh, some of them do not have any argument. For example, the rand function. Ran function does not have any argument. R A N D ran open parenthesis close. Okay, you get the random number. Also, you can you have also seen sometimes dated if dated if function. You can see the screen tip here. Just click here for help. Just see dated if function. You can just see how type of oops. Dated if function. This also does not show any of the arguments here, but it has an argument. 
for date calculation i will show you in another video how you can calculate the date dated if calculation with date it if function writing an optional argument gives a precise results you can see here uh this is a region sales in quarter 1 and this achieved goal yes or no i will use the if function equals to if logical test i will just say if the sales are greater than equals to this assumption i will just put a dollar sign in between to make it lock the sales now what i want for the value if true this is an option argument i, I want a value if true suppose if i want yes and else so if i don't put the uh, value if true and false what the result will be there it will the result will be there in trues and falses trues and false this is very uh, not a good uh, looking seen for this to have a good uh, true and false is that's why we use the if function to make value if true and value if false you can see same thing you can do with the and function you can get a true and false if this is greater than equals to this that you will get a false argument and here you will get trues and trues oops to see I forgot to lock this cell reference. F four to lock the cell reference. Then putting it down, you can get false and trues. Better way is to use this if statement. Let's move down. Okay. Logical function which returns the value to trues and falses. Like and for criteria false. returns the logical value of false then true is return the logical value of true if error then if there is an error you it shows uh what if we want suppose example if i delete this oops if i delete this all will come yes control z but some of the function like we look up if i we look up Well, uh, here I have to write north function. If I write north, and I want to V lookup equals to V lookup. Lookup value is this comma table array is this column index number is two, and the range is and the range is the uh, exact match. So I will write the false. Okay, but if I delete this north, it shows an NA error. unless i can code it with if error function value and value if error the value if error will be double quotes double quotes that will be null string and see you can get a null string here then i will write here not okay so this this type of thing is used in uh, if error function uh then going down or with with two or more condition you can just use if changes the returns value true or false with a specified value not changes true to false and false to true um, main thing is do not get confused between the screen tip and the syntax for example equals to some of the basics they think that sum when you write here the sum or uh, adds all the numbers in a range of a cell you think this is a uh, syntax but it is not a syntax it is a screen tip this is a basically in the number you have two arguments number 1 number 2 number 1 you can add array of the calculation and number 2 you can optionally add equals to sum s u m sum number 1 this comma number 1 two comma number 1 3 and so on but this does not show very appropriate if your numbers are somewhere uh differently placed like some here one number here another here and all this are differently sp spaced then you can use this type but unless you use an array operation for it okay the same rules are applicable for the vba function in vba function there are many arguments 
some are optional and few are compulsory for example you can see in the message box and input box function uh, who are ad in advanced in excel just watch this you can insert a module uh, in sorry control c oops i don't want a module remove okay oops it is not remote. okay so if you write this msg box open you get to this type of arguments prompt but the prompt argument is compulsory rest all arguments are not compulsory so this is how we can use this the syntax of excel okay this is very very important to understand the syntax in excel so excel follows only these type of syntax and the spaces between are done by underscore not dash you can use underscore it will recommend uh, it, it is recommended to use underscore uh, as write writing codes so thanks for watching feel free to subscribe and watch more videos on an exploring excel youtube channel thanks for watching have a great day